Uh, Matty Weldy, it's uh, the big game on Sunday, although it's still a pre-season fixture. A bit of added bite to it. It is the K2 Yorkshire Cup final, Batley Bulldogs against the Bradford Bulls. Yeah, yeah, we're, um, we're looking forward to it. We've had a uh, good, tough, uh, tough couple of games, um, but we're building nicely towards that first game against um, against Featherstone. And, um, yeah, like I say, just keep improving and hopefully build us way to that first game. In terms of these pre-season fixtures against Halifax, against Dewsbury, do you feel that the Yorkshire Cup has uh, given them a bit more punch? Yeah, it's um, obviously it's just it's brought a bit of a. Um, it's not like a friendly feel. You you're working towards something, and um, like I say, Halifax have been in the top four for the past four or five years, and um, to match them in in the middle, we we with some of our boys as well is is a good test and I thought we came out really well in that game and um, Dewsbury we we started off pretty well but um, sort of like let ourselves down in, in areas so we've, we've worked on that this week and hopefully we can put that right and um, Batley on Sunday what what will Matt Diskin's side uh, what challenges will they ask of the Bulls yeah they were, I watched a little bit of them when uh, they played Unslit down at Oddsall um, a couple of weeks back and um, they're a very big side and uh, they'll definitely test our middle and I'm pretty sure that's where they'll be coming. Um, but we're up to the challenge and, and uh, hopefully we can, uh, we can get one over on them. And hopefully lift a bit of silverware, which uh, perhaps, uh, you know, the supporters will enjoy. Yeah, yeah, of course they will and uh, it's, it's one for us as well. A um, bit of confidence as well, build, building, like I say, towards that first game and um, yeah, we'll, we'll take the game as it comes and uh, hopefully get a good result. We're about 10 weeks into pre-season. How are you finding it at Oddsall, at Tong, and life under John Keir again? Yeah, really good. Um, like I say, I've been under John a few times and uh, I know what he's about and, and his, his work ethic and um, how he likes players to, to play for the shirt. And um, It's been really tough. Um, the facilities are really good and uh, it's something that we've benefited as a, as a club and um, it can only get better. I mean, one thing that's quite evident is that competition for places. Uh, your position, Jordan Lilly can play there, George Flanagan, Sam Hallis. Um, that is only going to uh, really benefit the club when the championship season starts because John Keir is going to want the strongest 17, the strongest performing 17 out there on the field week in, week out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and there's a name you've missed out there, Doyle. Uh, young Doyle, he, he's stepped up to the plate and done, and done really well when he's when he's come in so um, yeah we've got people on to keep you on your toes and uh, it's only good for the team and, and, and gets the best out of you as an individual and it's not only in that position I think we've got cover in every in every position going so um, yeah it's only going to improve us as a squad and, and get the best out of us. You've already shown the Bulls faithful what you can do those good runs out of dummy half making metres forward catching defences unaware and uh, you're certainly tackling your heart out in defence. Yeah um, obviously Personally, I just like to be consistent throughout and um, if I can do my bit for the team and, and help them uh, along the way, then I'm doing my job and um, I give my best foot, foot forward every week and, uh, and that's all I can, I can ask for really. And um, yeah, like I say, the results will, will come off the back of everyone working hard and that's what we're all about here. A lot's made about the, the future players coming through, those young under-19 players. We saw that Sunday gone against Huddersfield probably learning a very harsh lesson on the scoreboard but they'll take that experience into the under 19s academy season do you feel that you can help players like Tom Doyle Alex Stevenson some of those younger players coming through with your experience in the game Matty? yeah yeah I can um, and that's what I'd like to do um, people gave back to me when I was a young young kid and I, I want to give back to them as well and uh, like I say that experience on Sunday against Huddersfield will only benefit them I know it were um, a tough defeat and a pretty chucked in the deep end but um, I'm sure they enjoyed it as well as as well as the disappointment for the result but um, it's only going to do them well and, and like I say I'd like to help help them kids come through and um, in areas that they want to work on. And just going back to uh, Sunday's game the famous Mount Pleasant Slope obviously you were when you were at Wakefield you went on loan there to Batley under John Keir uh, what do you prefer? Do you prefer to go down the slope in the first half or, or is it the second half? I mean, uh, it's a question I've asked many a player and the, I, I get so many different answers. Yeah, um, I don't know. There's, there's pros and there's, there's cons to uh, going uphill and going downhill. But um, yeah, we'll, 
we'll see how it goes and you just got to play if you're going up the hill you've got to minimize that team coming down the hill to us to the points and um when you're going down the hill you have to score as many points as you can but um yeah it's it was both sides have got to go uphill and downhill so it don't really make a difference and just finally matty would you like to potentially see the yorkshire cup expand next season with some super league clubs uh, getting involved yeah i was speaking to a couple of the boys um a couple of weeks back as um, part of the Yorkshire Cup. It'd be good if they had a Lancashire Cup um, and obviously had a final between the Lancashire and the and the Yorkshire team who got to the final. That'd be a good way to progress it. But um, for me as well, just the games, as I think there's a lot of games and it's asking a lot of players. It's all right, we, we've also got a big squad, we can rotate, but for teams who have got a small squad and we're part-time, it's it's a little bit difficult. But yeah, it's one to look, look for in the, uh, in the future. Cheers, mate. All the best. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Cheers.